Things were rather different, however, in my car. The swan song Corvette. Bloody hell, fire. It's called the ZR1 and it's the loudest, fastest, most powerful Corvette ever. Seven hundred and fifty-five horsepower. Seven hundred and fifteen torques. Does naught to sixty in two point eight seconds. And that's all down to what GM calls the BAS, the big ass supercharger. It takes 110 horsepower just to run it, but you get 290 horsepower back, so it's a good deal. This engine runs on a type of fuel you can't even buy in California anymore and needs 13 radiators to keep it cool. Especially here. Where are we? What, 10 miles from Death Valley? It is, I'm afraid, though. Oh, shit. A tricky little bastard. It's got a huge amount of mechanical and invisible aerodynamic grip, which is fine if you want to set a lap record. The trouble is, if you go beyond the limit, it becomes almost unbelievably difficult to control. Oh, look at it. Last year, an executive vice president of something or other at General Motors, I won't say his name, just that it begins with M and ends in Arc Roos. He was driving one of these as the pace car at the Indy race in Detroit, and he got to the second corner before he lost control and put it in a wall. Everybody laughed at him and everybody's looked at his crash on YouTube, but the fact is, I feel your pain, Mark. 